Hello everyone, this is Game of Sacrifice speaking. So, let's jump to Capablanca Memorial. 55th of Capablanca Memorial just started. In previous years, we saw players who had higher ratings. But still, the tournament is very strong this year as well. Let's talk about players first. Sandro Mareco is an Argentinian Grandmaster born in 1987. He is number one of Argentina by having 2652 ELOs and he is ranked at 84th place in the best players list. Then we see Hans Niemann. Niemann is a young player born in 2003 and he is from United States as many of us know. His current ELO is 2637. He is ranked at 114 in the world and 13th in the United States. Vasif Durarbaylı is in third place. He is from Azerbaijan and he was born in 1992. His current ELO is 2628. He is ranked 143 in the world and 7th in the list of Azerbaijan. He is also known as the second of Shahriyar Mamedyarov. Mustafa Yilmaz is a Turkish Grandmaster. He was born in 1992. His current ELO is 2626. He is ranked 145 in the world and he is number one in Turkey. Surya Shekhar Ganguly is an Indian Grandmaster born in 1983. He has 26 or 6 ELOs. He is 193 in the world and 17 in India. At the end of the list, we have five Cuban players. First of them is Yasir Perez Quesada. He was born in 1992. His current ELO is 2579. He is ranked at 278 in the world and he is number one in Cuba. Carlos Daniel Albornoz Cabrera was born in 2000. His current ELO is 2574. He is ranked 300 in the world and number two in Cuba. Omar Almeida Quintana was born in 1981. His current ELO is 2536. He is ranked 400 54 in the world and 3 in Cuba. Isan Reynaldo Ortiz Suarez was born in 1985 and he is ranked 472 in the world and 4 in Cuba. Luis Ernesto Quesada Perez was born in 1999. His current ELO is 2519. He is ranked 558 in the world and 6 in Cuba. Round 1 is over. All games ended in a draw except Mareko's game. Mareko's played against Carlos Cabrera. Cabrera had whites and Mareko had blacks. The game was even until move 23. Cabrera misplayed the position and he lost a pawn. Also he didn't have enough compensation to create chances for himself and the position directly went into a loss. Mareko exchanged his queen for two rooks. After he got full advantage, he spotted all the correct moves and Cabrera resigned in move 33. Other game to look at is between Niman and Luis Perez. Niman had whites and Perez had blacks. French defense played in the game. The game was exciting. We saw opposite side castles. On move 21, Niemann got full advantage according to the engine. However, he couldn't have spotted the idea. He got another advantage in move 34 in the end game, but as end games are very hard and requires lots of experience, Niemann didn't spot the idea again. Starting from move 47, it was sure that the game was draw as there were two pounds left for each side. 
pounds were located in A and F files. Surprisingly, both sides wanted to push this draw endgame for more 53 moves and they agreed in a draw after 100 moves. This was all for this coverage. If you like my videos, please like the videos and subscribe to my channel. For interaction between me and you, please make some comments, show your thoughts and let's have a conversation about chess all together. Also, you can freely share your ideas about my editing and my presentation. Thank you for listening. Cheers.